Hi, my name is Karen Corrier. I'm the ecologist and facility manager here at Gibson Woods Nature Preserve, which is part of the Lake County Park System located right in Hammond, Indiana. So one of the great activities now that it's spring is to go out and bird watch. And so when you, anytime you're going out to do an outdoor activity, you always want to dress in layers because as we know here in the Midwest, the ch temperature can change almost immediately. So always dressing in layers. So I have a vest on with a long sleeve shirt, my raincoat just in case, cause it's a little cloudy today. I bring a hat. Um, just in case it does get sunny. Always want to have the appropriate shoes on. So spring equals mud. So you want to have shoes that you don't mind getting dirty or maybe even wearing a pair of boots that can get into the water. So for bird watching, one thing uh, to make things a little bit easier would be to grab a pair of binoculars. That way you can see birds that are farther away because they do get scared by people. Um, a really simple pair is a size something like this. It can fit in your pocket, doesn't weigh a lot. Um, this has got an 8 by 25 There's lots of other numbers out there, but this is a nice compact one. Again, will fit right in your pocket, and you can get good viewing on this. Usually when you're um, looking for birds, a lot of people like to keep lists. A simple pen and paper in a journal. Now there's some more updated versions. Um, you can download a number of apps. One of the apps I like to use is called Merlin, and so it's uh, developed by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology based out of New York. It asks you some questions. Where's your location? You pick your location, what day? What was the size of the bird? Um, it asks for color. What was it doing? So was it at a, at a feeder? Was it on the ground? Was it flying? Um, and then after that, it gives you a list of possible birds. It also has some sound. So if you heard it by sound and you wanted to try to figure out if that was the right match. And it also gives you some information about where it would be found throughout different parts of the year. So it's a great tool if you want to use that. Um, and it's right in your phone. So this Merlin app um, through Cornell is actually a free app you can download. There's also other information on there. You can take pictures and upload those. But again, it's just something free that can go right in your pocket as you go out birding.